Good day everyone. Today we will teach you on how you can manage your admin dashboard, on how you can add additional users, and how to update and change your username and password. Let us go ahead and start. First, you connect to your dashboard and log in using the default, which is the admin for username and also admin for password. Then, when you are already on the dashboard, go to admin and go to my profile here is where you can update your password when you attempt to type a new password it will require you to enter the current or the old password and then you will also have to type a new password that you are going to use moving forward when you create your password it is better to use a combination of letters and numbers also utilizing the lowercase and upper cases of letters so that you can get a strong password. And when you're done setting the new password, you can scroll down and choose which permissions you want to be accessible until you update your password again next time. And when you're done, go and scroll down and click save changes. And then let us try to log in using our new user password so go ahead and log out and then type the username and also the new password and it worked so our password for the dashboard has been updated now let us go ahead and scroll to admin and then under that you can also find accounts and this is where you go if you want to add an additional account if in case you want to give access to someone but don't want to share your admin account so after you click create account you will set a username and then you will set a password and then you will also choose which permissions will be accessible for that user In the permissions, if you want the user to be able to access almost all of the features or the privileges, you can check all the boxes. After you choose the permissions, click create account and the new account will then be created. Let us try to log in using this access. But first, let us log out of our admin account. And as you can see, we are able to access the admin dashboard. But because the permissions were only limited, only few features are accessible from this account. Now what if you want to give full access to the other account from your admin account or you want to make that account the super user, we will show you on how to do that. So first let us log into our admin account. And then we go to admin and we go to our my profile. So in this case, you will just uncheck the manage admin accounts, the super admin button, and then click save changes. And after that, you go to the sub account, in this case that would be the store A, and then you edit the permissions for this one. So you can check the manage admin accounts or the super admin and the full access to your dashboard will then be given to the sub account. After that, go ahead and click save changes and we are now able to transfer the full access of the account to the sub account. Now let us log into the other account 
and see our permissions so go to admin and under my profile we can see that we are now the super admin and we can even remove the other account which was the previous admin account since we were given the super admin access and that would be all for today i hope you have learned something new have a good day and see you next time